Hi everyone, it's Mr. Ray from Etching Hill Primary School here. Today we're going to be looking at how to use Microsoft Teams. The five aspects of this video are going to be how to first of all find Microsoft Teams on the internet, how to log into Microsoft Teams using your children's account, how to access and find children's work set by the teacher, how to add to teacher calls, and finally we're going to be looking at how to send off and upload children's work. If you're still finding it tricky after the video, please give myself an email, which should be popping up just there. Email your class teacher or give the office a call and we can answer and support any technical difficulties. Hope you find the video useful. Here we go. Okay, so this section of the video is going to talk about how to get onto Microsoft Teams and where to find it on the internet. If you already know how to do that, just skip over it to the next part. So, first thing I'm going to do, on your computer, you should either have either Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge looking like these. So if you double click on one of those, I'm going to go for the Google Chrome, just because it takes out a step. So I'm going to Google Chrome. If you use Microsoft Edge, then at the top of the bar here, you just type in google.co.uk and press enter. And then it'll bring you onto this page. But as I said, if you go onto Google Chrome, it will have already skipped that bit out for you. Okay, next you're going to type in Office 365. The reason we type in Office 365 instead of Teams is because that will get us onto our children's accounts. Then off it, through Office 365, you can then get onto Microsoft Teams, which I'll show you in a second. Okay, so I've typed in Office 365, and then I'm going to press Enter. After pressing Enter, it's going to bring me up to this page where I can then see, it says Office 365, login, Microsoft Office. Once I click on that, give the click, hover over it, double click, it will then bring me to the Office account. Then the next part will be to log in to your child's 365 account. Okay, so the next part of the video is all about how to log on to your child's account. First thing, as I said, we've got onto Office 365, and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to sign in. So if I press on the sign in, it should then bring me to our sign in page. Here you need to type in your child's account. Okay, so this part of the video is all about how to log into the email address. As you've just seen, you should hopefully now know your child's email address. If not, again, please give us an email or um, give the school office a call and they can provide extra support with what their email address is. So I now know their email address. I am now going to type it into this bar here. And then it's at etching hill primary then it's dot academy then i click on next password the password for different children are different but for year two um it is a color so if you need that color the children should hopefully know that color as well and um, because they would have been practicing um logging on to teams all lowercase as well no capitals for our password sign in and then it will bring us to this page and there we have successfully logged on to Microsoft Office. For the next part you need to log on to Teams, that is where all their ch the children's work is going to be and it is on this bar here. If you hover over you can see you've got Word, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, OneDrive, OneNote, SharePoint and finally Microsoft Teams. If you click on Microsoft Teams, it will then bring you to. So now it has come up with two options. It's come up with get the Windows app or use the web app instead. If it's your first time using Microsoft Teams, it will come up with these two options. Eventually, I would get the Windows app 
because then it will be on your computer or device and you'll be able to easy, easily get straight onto Teams. If you don't want to, then it will just take you onto this one. Use the web app instead. We click on that. Post a message in a channel to share your ideas. I don't want to do that right now. I want to show everyone else how to get onto Teams. Then finally, it will bring you to the class page. You click on the class page and then you are now onto Microsoft Teams. You can see the chat bar here, where if Mr. Ray, for example, has typed anything, you can then respond um, and all the assignments and things are there. Fantastic, well done for making it this far. Okay, so the next part of this video is all about where to find children's work. Once you have logged on to Microsoft Teams, then you want this class page. It is really simple. So if you see at the top bar here, I might have to tilt you down ever so slightly. You can see where it says general, posts, files, class notebook, assignments and grades. The only one you really need is class notebook if you click on class notebook it will then take you to all of the children's set work let's try it and then as soon as you click on class notebook it will take you to the year page welcome page and on there it's got the year to expectations it's got some useful websites and links and lots of other interesting bits and bobs on there too now that's on this page is not where you'll find the children's work. It is just the welcome page. To find the work, it's in this arrow just here. See the arrow just there? If I click on that arrow, it will then allow me to go on to welcome, collaboration space, content library, or your child's own personal page. If you click on content library, it will then take you to all of the child's work. It will say lessons, you click on lessons, there. And then, as you can see, you have then got, you have then got all of the pages with all of the different information on. You've got welcome, the welcome page, you've got foundation subjects, we click on foundation subjects. You will then be able to see all of the things like PE and the foundation subjects, so PE, geography, history, art, and all that will be in there if I then scroll down. As you can see, we've got some PE activities on there, and there will be the history, geography, science, and art activities for the week. If I then want to go back to the rest of the pages, I'm going to go back, have a slide, put you back down here. It has then got each day, it's got Monday the 9th, it's got Monday the 19th on there, Tuesday the 20th, Wednesday the 21st. So it's got the week's learning there. And um, let's say it's Monday today, and I want to find Monday's work. I'm going to click on Monday, and there it will have all of the day's activities. So on there, it's got a little good morning message at the top. It's then got um, a time where I'll see you, do a phone call. And then it's got videos, links, and activities on there. So as you can see on this page, we've got our phonics videos for the day um, to help with support with reading. And then it's got our English activities if you scroll further down. Now, on there will be links for uh, worksheets and PowerPoints for that. You just need to click on them to open them. And it's as simple as that. And that is where you will find all of the children's work for their week.
This final part is all about how to upload work and send it to your class teacher. Really simple once you know how. Again, all you do, so we're back on our home page where it's on general and posts. So that's the page that we're currently on. You've then got to go back into class notebook. So I'll click back onto class notebook. Click on that. And then it will take you again back to, straight back to your welcome page. He says, back to your welcome page. And then you have actually got your own child page. So there at the bottom, like we said, it will say the child's name. You click on the child's name and they've got their own class notes page. If you click on class notes, it will then bring up their very own class notes page. And it could, you could call it, if it was the, for example, the Monday work, I'm gonna call it Monday um, the 19th of October. And then all you have to do is take a picture on a mobile device of the child's work and do a scan, whatever is, is easiest for you guys at home. And then you click on the page, press insert, and there you can insert a picture from either a camera or a file online. And that will allow the teacher to see your child's work and then leave some comments on their page regarding the work. That's as simple as that. Another way you can do it is if you click onto this, these, I think, how many dots are there? There's nine dots at the top. The very top left, there's nine dots. You click on those nine dots and then you can go into Outlook. If you go into Outlook, then brought up our email where you can email your work to your class teacher. If I went on to new message, I can click on that. It then says to, I'll type in J dot Ray. And there you can see my emblem, JR. I can click on JR. I can put in my work on Monday. And there I can attach any documents or pictures to that and send that to Mr. Ray or your company. So the next part of this video is all about how to get Office 365, Microsoft Teams, and get onto Class Notebook using a mobile device or an iPad slash tablet. So the first thing you need to do is download all of the apps you require to be able to do that. If you go onto the App Store, and this works for both Android and iPhone, obviously this is an iPhone, so we're gonna be using this today. And um, go onto the App Store, type into their Office, 365, search, and there you can see Microsoft Outlook, which is basically Office 365 for the emails. So we'll download that one. And we're gonna need then Microsoft Teams. So I'm gonna type in Microsoft Teams. And there I've got Microsoft Teams as well, I'm gonna get that one. Now, the two of them work together, and it's the same when you're using Class Notebook to find all of the children's work. So what you want to type in as well is you want to type in OneNote, and that will come up with Microsoft OneNote, and that will be where it will find all of the children's work. So I've downloaded that one as well and just wait for the three of those to download. So the three of them have downloaded. Um, Outlook, which is the basically Office 365 emails. Teams, where we've got all the children's work and assignments. 
and OneNote, which is where you will find all of their work. So if I first of all click into this one, I'm going to sign in. Okay, add account. And then it's going to ask me for a password. Your children should definitely know their password. It's quite simple, a simple colour. Sign in. And there it's going to take me to. So there it's taken me to our emails. Though obviously there's nothing to read yet because we've not sent any. If you did want to send any, you can then go to send. Oh. So inbox, I can go onto there or I can write an email and I can send one. So if I ever wanted to send anything um, to your to the class teacher, you can then send it on there. Okay, so that's the email side. If I then go onto Teams, it should then automatically link in your Teams account because, because you've signed into your Outlook, it will then automatically download onto there. So I'm gonna click onto um, my account there, the child's account, already signed in, I'm already signed in, fantastic. Um, would you like it to send notifications? I would put allow, so then you can see if there's any uh, phone calls, um, any, any Teams calls from the teacher. Would you like to access my phone? Yes, just in case the teacher wants to talk to me on there. Next, next, got it. And there it will tell you any assignments, or any things that are available on there, any quizzes and things like that. If I go onto Teams, it'll have the class there as well, and it's got it all there. Okay. So, with OneNote, it's important that you have it downloaded, but you don't necessarily ever need to go through it. If you click onto Teams, to find children's work, you then go on to our Class 2R, we click on General, and there, if you click on where it says Post Files, you can click on More. More will then take you to our, oh, there it is, Class Notebook, hidden away. And if you click on that, it will then take you into OneNote, where you've got all of the work. You can then click on Content Library, Lessons, and there are all of our lessons. There's our Welcome to the Page. If I go back, it's got our Monday lessons, all there, ready to go for an iPad or a phone. And if I squeeze it, it will zoom it out. I can zoom in again. All of the links will work on there. And it's easy and ready to go for an iPad or on a phone. So again, let me show you one more time to find that. Don't go onto OneNote, go through Teams. Click on General, Class 2R. Posts, Files, but we want more. Click on Class Notebook, it'll take you over. And then again, we click on Content Library, Lessons, and there we've got all of our lessons on there. Okay?